hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you the easiest way to display your scripture on the vimi software and the best part is you don't need to install any software at all if this sounds interesting to you and you haven't still yet subscribed to this youtube channel smash that subscribe button below and also turn on the notification bell so youtube will notify you first whenever i upload videos like this and if you're a returning subscriber smash that like button if you love the content so the youtube algorithm can also recommend this video to other people on the youtube community as well and without any further ado let's jump right into this tutorial and the first thing you are going to do is to go ahead and open your web browser go straight to this website the allstreamhub.com and make sure you are signed up on this website and the best part also is 100 free so you don't need to pay any money at all now for me i sign up on the website and once you already sign up you're going to see this uh, beautiful dashboard here on the screen here you see so select the free one you're not paying any money don't worry it's free so select the free one and you're going to see this beautiful dashboard just the way you're seeing it right here on the screen and once you're here go over to scripture tab and select any scripture that you want to pop in on the screen once you already selected that scripture go back to details and copy the projector link okay so copy the projector link place your mouse on the projector link right click and copy link okay place your mouse on the projector link right click on it and copy link so we are copying the projector link once you already copy the projector link minimize this and open your vme software okay so i'm just going to go ahead and wait for the vme software to load and remember you can do this with any version of vme vme 22 23 24 once your vme software is up already click on the add input by the bottom left there click on the add input there okay and go over to web browser the web browser paste the link that you've copied and change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 as well 1080 as well and the browser version change it to v77 now so I switch back and forth with the v77 and v86 so if you change it to v77 and it does not work for you change it to v86 as well once you're done click on ok and let's go over to the web and pop any scripture open the website back again go over to scripture and pop any scripture that you want to use on the screen you can see there this is it and the scripture is changing you can see so i'm also going to do a video on how you can use this on obs as well you can see so the scriptures are changing you can see the way it's changing you can see there you go it's changing you can see the scriptures are changing and this is all of them okay so and the best part is you can also use a custom background for it as well now if you want to use your own background because it's transparent all you have to do is to click on the add button on vmix and bring go over to video and bring in any background that you want to use for it any background at all i'm also going to leave a google drive link to all the background i'm currently using so you can also use them as well once you already brought in your own background loop the background and click on the play button and this is the, the background is playing now on the add input again click on this drop down button there click on it or you just place your mouse on the add input and right click and let's select blank now click on the blank double click on the blank uh, template you just brought in change it to bible display on the name we need it bible display okay bible display and go over to color key tick the color key and the layers and multi view on the layers and multi view click on one and bring in the background and on the two bring in the scripture okay now it's currently covering it now double click on the on the on the projector link that we pasted double click on it go over to color key and tick the color key and you can see right there on the screen how it's displayed you can see that is it so we've given it its own custom background for it as well and whatever changes you're doing on the web is also reflecting here as well whatever changes yeah it's also reflecting as well and if you want to change the background double click on the projector link on vmis okay double click on the projector link on vmis go over to color correction and from here you can be able to adjust the color if you want to use a different color entirely for it see i'll be able to adjust the color on vmis and this is how it's looking now on the screen so you can use any color that you want to use at all and whatever changes you're doing here is also reflecting this is actually very helpful for those of you that are using loop pc to do your live stream so you don't need you know to give the system much workload you can use this format as well okay so you can use this this will help you a lot because it's going to reduce the workload on the pc so that you can do your live streaming in peace